Hmm. So what happens if I just sit here? Does that cause a bad end? Oh, okay, no, he's just repeating over and over. I was hoping that letting him do his thing would give a bad end, but doesn't look like I have that choice. <laughs> We're not gonna leave, buddy. Uh oh. He's using all three relics. This is not gonna be easy. Oh dear. Hey, that seemed to work. It knocked away the fire relic at any rate. Oh wait, oh I'm getting hit by the tornado, I see. I'm not entirely sure how I knocked away that first relic to be honest. Do I just straight up have iframes while I'm in this dash wall? It looks like I might. Yeah, I am just straight up invincible if I just spam this. That is kind of OP. Still not entirely sure how I need to knock those two relics off of him. Alphonse's shotgun worked, but it specifically worked on the fire one and he's like fire elemental basically. So maybe I need to hit them. like I need to hit the green one with Getty. That's what I've been trying to do, but it's kind of tricky. See, this reminds me a hell of a lot of slain, which I just didn't finished an informative LP of. Where, like, the. In that, there was a talisman that you can collect pieces of, and if you get all the pieces, you basically become immune to a number of the final boss's attacks, making that boss so much easier. And that's kind of the case here. If you bother to collect all the coins. Oop, I did it somehow. If you bother to collect all the coins throughout the game, you end up getting a ridiculous upgrade that just kind of makes this boss fight a complete joke. Because he cannot hurt you. Do I need to touch the relic? Is that what I managed to do? I I'm still really not sure. Maybe it's only doing specific moments. Wait. Oh, that- that worked? Okay. Sure, sure game. Okay, second phase, I guess. I, 
I guess maybe I did manage to shoot them and it just wasn't working before for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> that actually did seem to work there. Maybe, or oh, maybe it's just I need to hit him enough. Even though before he was disappearing most of the times I tried to hit him. This is one of the times that he's- ah, okay, I gotcha. I was massively overthinking things. It's just, you need to hit him enough times when he is vulnerable. And one of the times when he is vulnerable is when he's carrying that weight. There's probably a few other times that I haven't uh, specifically noticed. I wonder if Getty- Oop. Oh no. <sighs> Gotta be careful there. One more hit. Yep, this is another time when he's quite vulnerable. There we go, second relic. I thought this might be a second phase, but it might have just failed to do something after knocking him out the first time. Come on, gotta get that third rock again, then I gotta do something else, I guess. I got him again, but yeah, he does the same thing every time. Oh nope, this is not the same. Oh my, okay. Um, I guess it's a good old game of get into of tennis. <laughs> oh, this is trippy as hell. I'm curious, I guess he would use Twig to avoid those attacks since he do get iframes doing his spider lasso. Something that I did not realize during the Dirk fight which would have made that last phase a lot easier. I only realized that after beating the fight. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be trying to hurt him in this phase or not. I do seem to be able to hit him though so I guess I should try that. And this seems to do damage as well. Oh dear, how's this gonna go this time? Nope, same pattern as- oh, oh dear, I thought I was out of range. Oh shit, I thought I had a bit more space. Damn it, screwed up. Alright, got one more hit. I can do this. I can do this. I really should be using Alphonse's shotgun. I keep forgetting to do that even though it's ridiculously overpowered. I think that might be it.
Well then, I guess that was our boy. I get the feeling that there's probably going to be a post credit scene. It totally seems like they're set up for that sort of thing. And even after that, I do need to reload the file and see if I can't place that third uh, disc that I got and figure out basically w whatever that unlocks. I guess I'm going to get to meet that Nocte person, that's what that, uh, it seemed like it when I got that third disc, what it was saying. And I guess I'm probably going to learn about the loop, which I'm interested in exactly what that is, but... Yeah, that was a really good game. Like, it's not a game that I'd ever play purely for the gameplay. The gameplay is solid, it fits, it keeps you interested in going through the game. But the main reason that you play it in the first place is for the excellent visuals, and honestly the story is pretty good too, at least for a simple platformer like this. But yeah, overall the gameplay was pretty damn competent. There were some rough moments like the last area, the final boss. It took me a while to figure out the gimmick, the fact that you have to knock away each of the relics with the party member of the appropriate element, quote unquote. So, Getty for the green one, Alphonse for the red, and then Twig for the blue. But it took me forever to realize that because I guess you just have to hit Solus enough with their attacks in order to do that. And if you try to hit them, hit him when, uh, with the wrong person when you've already knocked away their relic, he phases away, which is why that was happening, and that really confused me. But yeah, the end of the game and the canon segment could have been better, but overall it was a real solid experience and a true visual masterpiece. Like, this game took almost 10 years to make, although apparently that's because they mainly just worked on it in their spare time. But you can see the effort they put in over those long years. I would probably give this a solid 8 out of 10. Well, that was a post credit scene, technically, even though it told us absolutely nothing. Like, I don't know, did I miss the detail of Otis dropping from the sky in the background or something like that? Like, it, sh it just showed, I guess, that the world had returned to its former state, and so it's not being destroyed anymore, I guess. And presumably, most of the people probably managed to survive, and I guess Otis did as well. I feel like there could have been a bit more closure to that. So, yep, our boy study, so it reloads you back before you travel on the rocket ship. Oh wait, no, okay, our, right, our boy refers to Solus, but I notice this little sparkly over here. Ah, here we go. And maybe this will end up uh, tying into the whole loop thing. I feel like that's probably... Oh, that's why this is here, to mark this little warp. I feel like the loop is probably some sort of time loop sort of thing, having to do with like reincarnation. That's why there was that whole mention of past lives and memories and visions of the future and past and that ending there. Alright, so I gotta go place that last disc and uh, see what this whole Nocte thing is about. I believe I mentioned this before, but the last place that I can place the disc should be on a path to the right, on the path to the floating continent. And uh, it shouldn't take me any time to get there, due to this ridiculous booster. Seriously, this upgrade was totally worth the, uh, the effort of getting all those coins. I was worried when I was collecting them that it would turn out not to be, but yeah, it was totally worth it in my opinion. I think where I can uh, place the disc is a bit further up, hopefully I haven't passed it already. I saw a screenshot of uh, that was pointing out the path, and I'm pretty sure it's further above. I don't think it's here. Although it doesn't hurt to check, of course. Oh, okay, no, if I recall, this was um, a path... When I was collecting the coins, I found a secret path that ended up leading out here, yeah. There was like a few hundred coins that way. 
It's actually a pretty cool secret area and I kind of wish I had recorded it because it was basically an abandoned pirate ship lost in the thorny, uh, in the thorns. Pretty cool set piece. Oh no, those guys are gonna chase after me. Yep, okay, I gotta kill them, especially since I'm pretty sure that, uh, actually, wait, can I just spin them to death? Well, I'll take out a few with Alphonse to be safe, but... Okay, yeah, I still can't hurt them even though I have this ridiculous spin dash, that's kind of a shame. Guess it keeps your companions useful. Oop. Okay, I did not expect them to get attracted to me, shit. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the path that has the, uh, disc altar. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's right. If I get chased by something, I can literally just dash and they can't hurt me because I have infinite iframes. Forgot about that. Wait, maybe this isn't the place. Uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, I came here before and I was like, I can't do anything here. Because I didn't have Twig at the time. His lasso is ridiculously useful in situations like these. Just gotta aim it right. There we go. It's one. It's two. That's three. Four. And... Five. There we go. And the altar should be just beyond here. Bingo. Ah, so that's what that door is for. I remember encountering that way back at the beginning and thinking like, this is gonna be something important at some point. And then just completely forgot about it because it never came up. But now it has. All right time to make my way back down there. Let's see what's beyond this door once and for all, then. Hopefully it was worth the effort of collecting and placing those discs. Oh, do we ha actually have a proper area here with puzzles to solve? I wouldn't have expected that. I figured it would just be some story stuff, maybe a bonus boss. I'll hold off on examining that for a second. Let me explore the rest of this room first. Oh wait, there's a whole bunch of these things that I can examine. Okay, maybe I should do that in order then. Maybe they'll impart some deeper lore. Yep, so that was worth the effort since I'm actually fairly interested in the story, hearing the uh, wisdom of the owls.
So they were basically the Edison and Tesla of the people. First mention of the loop. Come on game, stop drip feeding me this stuff. Just give me some direct answers. Sorry I'm not saying too much, I'm just thinking about what they're saying. I'll probably have more to say once I've actually read all of the information that's here. Damn, that's about what I was looking for in terms of, uh, information. Wait, why is there a talk? Oh, I guess I can check that again. Well, I don't want to go through that whole, uh, bit of, uh, info dump again. Let me check down here first, because it looks like heading further left might lead to more interesting stuff, and I want to- Oh, there's nothing here. Never mind then. So basically, the owls- owls destroyed themselves because Nocte died before he could actually finish all the calculations necessary for the machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And Egolius, despite being regarded as a near equal to Nocte, wasn't actually all that he was cracked up to be. Well, even if he was a genius, he wasn't anywhere near Nocte's level. So he really wasn't able to finish the machine, not like Nocte could. And ultimately, it ended up fucking up. Oh, 
got open treasure chest here, okay. <laughs> I guess someone else must have gotten here and raided the place, somehow. Oh, and is this the e yeah, this is the exit. Um... Well, that was some interesting stuff, but... I feel like I'm missing something. I've said that many times before, but... Now, more than ever, like... It doesn't feel like... I've seen everything there is to see. Especially since Egoli specifically said, take the knowledge that you've learned here and use it to your advantage. I wonder if I do the final sequence of the game, if I'll get another ending perhaps? Or if that literally just is all there is to it. You learn a bit about the downfall, but you still don't end up learning about what the loop actually is. Hmm. I guess I'll just leave things off here then. I'll do some research on my own and if it turns out to be something else that I can do, like another ending if I repeat the sequence again or some other content I've unlocked somewhere, then I'll probably either edit that in or do another video. Otherwise, this looks to be the end of our boy. So like a lot of games, I feel at the moment that it kind of didn't really manage to stick the ending quite as well as it could have. It wasn't a bad ending, but it didn't feel, it didn't have the right amount of closure to me. And that's a shame because pretty much everywhere up to the final area was pretty good pacing. And like it felt like really complete, it just kind of failed at the last 10% which it's kind of common for video games honestly so it's not too surprising but it is disappointing. So hopefully I discover something else I can find that gives me the closure I'm looking for. Even if I, even if, um, I don't, I would still give this game a solid 8 out of 10 for its gorgeous art, pretty competent gameplay. And like all the fun little details, animations, and the story. It's good stuff. But yeah, that's that's our boy then I guess.